So the carrier bag theory is this idea that the earliest cultural inventions must have been recipients of some kind, sacks or bags or slings, things that allow you to carry more than your two hands can hold or that you can stuff in your face at any one time. This is opposed to the idea that the earliest human inventions must have been destructive tools or implements like knives or spears. So the reason that this has been on my mind is because I've been thinking about how hard it is to have a satisfactory exploratory conversation about difficult or controversial issues. And I've also been thinking about Ursula Le Guin's essay, The Carrier Bag Theory of Fiction. And I guess I want to propose a carrier bag theory of conversation. So Le Guin imagines how our idea of narrative as defined by conflict came not from the people, namely women, who were carrying their babies in sacks while they gathered nuts and seeds and fruit and roots that most people subsisted on in early human history, but rather it comes from the hunters who, restless with all that, went out into the wilderness and violently gathered food in the most inefficient way possible, bringing back meat and also a riveting story featuring action and a hero. This idea that life is a series of conflicts that problems can and maybe should be solved by some kind of force that, as Le Guin puts it, culture can, quote, be explained as originating from and elaborating upon the use of long, hard objects for sticking, bashing, and killing, end quote, is a fundamentally masculine, phallic version of reality. And I think we can pretty easily see how this model predominates when it comes to conversation and debate. So when you think about how we think about logic and discussion and debate, there's this idea of resolution, that we start with some disagreement or conflict and we resolve it by some struggle, however congenial or orderly that struggle may appear. So let me substitute the word conversation for the word novel that Le Guin uses to talk about this in fiction. She says that the heroic model has decreed that, quote, the proper shape of the conversation is that of the arrow or spear, starting here and going straight there and fuck, hitting its mark, which drops dead. I differ with all of this, she says. I would go so far as to say that the natural, proper, fitting shape of the conversation might be that of a sack, a bag. A conversation holds words. Words hold things. They bear meanings. A conversation is a medicine bundle, holding things in a particular powerful relation to one another and to us. I find this really compelling, Le Guin's answer to the phallocentric, antagonistic understanding of life and culture and story is to reclaim the communal, the cooperative. This isn't to say that conflict doesn't exist or doesn't have a part to play in narrative or as I'm talking about in discourse, only that discourse isn't or shouldn't be reducible to conflict. Conflict and competition and struggle may still be necessary pieces of discourse conceived as carrier bags slash belly slash house slash village, but discourse itself is neither conflict nor harmony, since, as Le Guin puts it, quote, its purpose is neither resolution nor stasis, but continuing process. So what does a conversation like this even look like? Um, I don't know, how about a focus on exploration rather than resolution? How about generosity toward others, both the people we're talking to and the people and things we're talking about? Um, how about asking more questions than providing answers, or at least ending up that way. So like one thing I was thinking about is the process of questioning how the conversation itself is going. So like being able to ask whether we've backed our conversation into a corner or whether we've set it up for failure or something like that. I feel like an emphasis on process over against resolution is key here, but um, I don't know, what, what do you think? I certainly want to try to take up this model in my videos here and in my own conversations. Please feel free to call me out on failing at this. I know I will because I know I already do. But I don't know, I feel like 
improving our discourse, I don't know, maybe it requires us to reconsider what discourse even is and what our goals are and who can be involved. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>